Okay, I think I got it figured out how to use a you know a wide frame rear end on a narrow frame. I know everybody says yeah they're direct bolt in, which they are, and they, they bolt right in. But the linkage is all different. Um, this one is off the rear end here for the 1650. It's got the two links on a narrow frame. It only has one. So I basically took this off, unbolted it, it was bolted, well, however, right, bolted up in there like that, whoops, got to watch my video here, so I took that off, took this one off the other tractor, and again, direct bolt on, don't know if it'll work until I get the frame back on. Um, I did change the felder, put a genuine Cub Cadet felder on it. You can see the number. I found a box of these at a flea market. So, I don't know if that number is correct for right now or not. I don't know. Uh, the brake linkage. This is the one off of... The wide frame here's the narrow frame so you need to swap out the linkage for the brake this is the rod from the narrow frame the 125 so the linkage and the bracket is from the 125's rear end and the brake rod I'm basically eliminating this uh, I'll know more on the on the drive shaft they are a little bit different. And I'll know more once I get it together and get measurements. The one from the 1650 is longer. And this is the weld on style like the early well like the narrow frames with this small turn down end where this just caps over and welds on but the bushing in this one is for the 120 or for the 1650 so if I have to shorten or make a new one. I thought about just making a new, new axle or new drive shaft. Yeah, I got that around the wrong way around, but still, it's still turned for it. So yeah, it goes in like, like, like yay. So I'm looking for a fan too. But, so once I get it together and get the engine in, I'll know more on. On the dry shaft, they have the oils from changing the felder. I did fill it up with fresh oil and whatnot, but uh, the hydraulics, I capped them off. I'm not going to use them because I have the hydro unit for my 125. I'm going to keep it correct. So, you know, and I didn't, I have all the linkage and the, I have everything for that, the cylinder and all. So maybe down the road I might do something with that on using it to lift the front blade or something. I don't know. I thought about running hydro lines out the back so I can use it to power a, a secondary pump for a log splitter. You know, so I could just pull up to the log splitter hookup and split wood with it so that's that's later on but well i'll start getting this back together and see if uh if it uh if the linkages line up with all this stuff all right see you guys